you. Is that so? Even now, I'm not sure I truly understand what kind of freedom you were- But as the head, it's something I discussed with the Udex of Fontaine. Of course, I won't simply hand freedom to them on a silver platter. That's more than enough. You know, Perry? I think you're a pretty amazing king, and a really great father, too. I'm really happy that you're the one who took over the house. I guess I do have one regret, though. I still haven't seen the outside world. Well, it just so happens that our dear guests over here have been to many nations and traveled to countless places. Really? Of course! We've traveled all over the place! We've got so many stories, we could probably talk your ears off for three days straight! Yokai you mentioned. I once saw a drawing of this one god. Oh, sounds like you're talking about an Oni. E I was always too but at the ac <laughs> I'm just kidding. The situation was super dangerous. Lenny and Lynette. Oh no. Don't worry, we were able to turn the situation around super quickly, all thanks to Detective Paimon, of course! <laughs> How'd you do that? Come on, tell me! Ahem! <clears throat> okay. Shadows don't have the capacity to learn or grow. Any new... Clairvy, you've worked tirelessly from the shadows to overthrow the House of the Hearth. Now, by my authority as the Knave, I shall announce how this matter ends. You are hereby expelled from the House of the Hearth. You are no longer tied to this place, nor are you bound by its rules. You're saying that I can finally leave? To experience the outside world as well? <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. There's no getting older for me. Still, seeing who you grew up to be makes me really happy, Paraware. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. May we meet again someday. I also have certain sentiments left unsaid. I wanted to tell her that the aurora I saw in Snezhnaya was just as beautiful as the one that a shadow's memories reset at dawn. Had we- Whatever regrets may linger. Father? <coughs> it's Linny! Hey, Linny! What is he doing back here? Let's go check it out! Father... The bottled flames... And you? <clears throat> Thank Lynette and Fremenet feel the same way. They're recuperating back at the Hotel Bouffe d'Ete. But I decided to come back and tell you where we stood. I'm sure you're well aware of the expectations I have for you. I want you to follow in my footsteps and become the next. I must admit. I, I just... You're brave, talented, and, most importantly, you cherish your family. You would do anything to protect... <laughs> Speak.
Speaking up back there was so brave of you, Linny. It's all- You're a hero, Linny. Hero? Father is the real hero. Had father gone all out during the- I'm not deserving- You're wrong. In my opinion, we may have different ideas of what it- Even without that- Father. No one knows if reaching a certain strength may decide the ultimate victor, but those who let a lack of strength dictate their decisions or undermine their conviction. I understand, Father. Thank you. Children must- The road ahead is not- You've done so much for me, Father. Protecting my family at all costs. Then you're welcome to stay. As for Project Stooja, you need not be too concerned. If those cowardly businessmen and heartless dignitaries try to take us down, I'm prepared to teach them a lesson. Having members who longed for the light was our organization's last weakness. With those members no longer among our ranks, the House of the Hearth is like- At present, our imperative is to use their plan to our advantage. In doing so, a crimson moon shall rise amid the frigid blizzards of winter. No demonstration of loyalty shall go un- As for the two of you, whether we meet again as friend or foe, I'll remember the camaraderie we shared in this moment. No matter how arduous the journey ahead, I hope we both reach our- d